Hello everyone and welcome back to the little corner of YouTube which goes under the name of Reggie's Corner. So we are back with part 3 of our let's play of the game Trine and this level is called Wolvercoot Catacombs and it is the second level in which we start out with all three characters available from the start. And as in the previous videos, I will try to find all of the available experience in this level as well as all of the hidden items. And if I manage to get any other achievements as I go along, that will be considered gravy on top. If this sounds like something that you would like to join me at, feel free to do so because now we get cracking. What lay ahead of our heroes was unknown. They had not seen another man, woman or child in ages. The undead had transformed everything. They were now surrounded by evil. But our heroes had to press on. They were in search of the tomb. The wizard was sure that it would belong to the founder of the Astral Academy, one of the three guardians. If they could find his tomb, perhaps they would find a spell to get them out of the trine. Where are we? We are beneath the Astral Academy. No one has been here for decades. Aha! My sword shall lead the way! <laughs> Follow me! And so we shall. So we are now at the very beginning of level three, Wolvercoot Catacombs. And we will once again try to get all the experience and all the hidden items. So we literally got the jump on that guy. Here's our first potion of experience. Hmm, I wonder if you could actually do like stuck it on the spikes. Yes, you can. Even though I actually think that maybe that's not the way you're intended to do it. No, nope, nothing to do there. Nope, no one's hiding over there either. This one, however, should be able to do like that. And we should probably be able to grab that one through the swing. Yes, that we were indeed. And yeah, probably do. Yeah, that actually did work. Awesome. Maybe we can get an angle on this guy. Yes, we could. And I'm guessing we're supposed to go down here. So we'll have to go upwards with looks to be the night. But first, maybe we can bring in a little cube and straight up just smash it. Yes, we could indeed do that. Oh, and I <laughs> accidentally placed it on just the correct spot as well. Very nice. So maybe we can do the same thing here. Like, take this and push. 
and not kill ourselves? Oh, let's see. We can... There we go. Doesn't look like it. We do have a magic bottle on that one. Which we will... Ob there we go. Hmm. Could we lift this one? Just push from behind? Well, that worked. I have the feeling that we missed some stuff. Yeah, there's stuff up there. Oh, there's actually more than just a little bit of stuff. There we go. Not worth taking any chances. Especially when we have a tasty chest. So first, hidden item. Amulet of Mana Gain. And that was unnecessary. Yeah, probably charge ahead with the knight. Oh! Good grief. Is this like... A boss? I do believe we actually have our very first boss. Somewhat hard to hit though. What exactly am I supposed to hit? Is it the face? Yes, it is. Or like, around the facial area anyway. Come on. Don't be shy. Come on. I won't kill you because you're already dead. Okay, this is awkward. <laughs> it's not even getting at me. There we go, and I will not get stabbed by that large sword while I'm at it. Even though I could have used a sword that size to slice through opposition. And another chic point. And a treasure, so we'll pick that up first. Hidden item number two, strength of the titan, skill for the knight, so it's a specific item that's the first I think can we grab this first of all we shall do that so we won't kill ourselves where did that item go oh there's the box could I place it there yes I could Just thinking like Maybe we can... And again. And again with feeling. There we go. And we have the cool way for doing something. <laughs> Uh, 
Anyway, that felt like a better idea than it actually turned out to be. And I still kind of want to have that one. Yes. That's the first. Couldn't I just use the box over here and stop this? Like taking this one and putting it on top? Like, no, not like that. Like, like that. Yeah, that actually worked just fine. So we have a bit more experience. That was good enough to make it. That one was though. That should bring that bottle down towards us, which it did. Very nice. And we also have a bottle up there. Oh, no we won't. That's better. And is it worth going down there? No, it was not. Well, everything's worth it once, I guess, but you know, that turned out not to be the case this time. However, while we're down here, we might as well see if there is anything worth noticing under these here boxes. But that doesn't seem to be the case. So onwards we go. Oh, so here we have another box event. And I will not remove the one in front of me. That should do the trick for that one. And guessing that should do it for that one. Hmm. We can actually do something like this then. Nope, no, no. Move that to there. And then land on top of that one was my plan initially. Um, <laughs> that almost horribly killed us. But we did get the, nope, the experience, which was the main goal. Hopefully there's a shake point really, really soon after this. Because if not, this could get really ugly. So when that arrow is gone, yes indeed. So can we get at him? Yeah, we obviously could use the box trick again. Huh, that works. I do, yeah, we actually have the opportunity to go back and take that one. So, let's do that again. Excuse me. <laughs> that actually worked kind of great. And like so and we are back with our trusty thief which is needed to get oh and up onto that ledge as well nice is there like a magic stuff down there 
think it is. Yeah, probably not worth it though. Probably not worth it. So what do we have here? Looks like a new puzzle. But first, a little enemy. Nope. No, thank you. And you're welcome and all that good stuff. Oh, one more. Awesome. So was that like a little hint that we should, because I noticed these could be picked up and they look like weights. Okay, so that worked. Oh. And up we go. What do we have here? Is this something that we could actually... Oh no. What do we have here? Is that like another spider thingy? Yes, it was. No, you won't. And we could maybe move these. Yes, we could. And we should probably move these back a little bit. And the last one as well. Is there anything up here though? Nope, does not look like it. And what do we have here? Oh! Oh, come on. And that was a bit clumsy, but we have a checkpoint, so it's no biggie. Yep, he lost. <laughs> Let's see, can we move this one aside? Nope. That. Oh, it's actually stuck. Can we. There we go. So maybe we can use the old trick by. Oh no. Okay, that was not my intention. <laughs> still do like that and we should be able to use the thief to no for her to jump towards that direction at all it's probably a spider up there somewhere oh come on that's more like it and thank you for the experience and I think we should be the wizard once more because this one can be reused, I think. Yeah, well, not perfect, but it did work. So here we actually have the third hidden item. Mana Vial. And it doesn't look to be uh, character specific like the ones we had before. Well, we have only had one of those to be honest but you know and there we go awesome and up here we have another but I think we could just do like that yes awesome so what do we have here? Okay, we have a bottle of experience way up there. So this we could probably solve by doing... Nope, by doing this one once more. Yes, indeed. Uh, maybe we won't use that. And we have the Wolver Coot 
master. So we have actually found all of the available experience on the level. Awesome. And maybe I should just make it a little bit simpler on myself by doing this one and and then maybe I can just like destroy it I thought no nope. well that worked awesome This is the tomb of the Guardian. It has inscriptions all over it. So, I don't know why the... <laughs> there we go. And we have finally found the tomb. And I'm guessing we are at the end of this level as well. So let's rush through. As the wizard read the inscriptions, legends of artifacts began to emerge. There had once been three guardians, each with an artifact to protect. The tribe was an artifact of the soul and righteousness, and a catalyst for the powers of good that had quietly helped raise young, good-hearted wizards in the Astral Academy. The two remaining artifacts were mentioned only briefly. The second artifact that pertained to mind and power had been stored in the great castle in the middle of the kingdom. And we can now see that for Wolverkoot Catacombs, we have level experience 20 out of 20, monster experience 15 out of 15, and unlocked secrets 2 out of 2. So, that was part 3 of our Let's Play Done and Dusted. And that means level three will recruit catacombs has been finished. And as I mentioned just now, we managed to get all of the hidden items as well as a bonus skill for the knight. And we also got all the available XP and a bonus achievement on top of all that. So uh, overall a good run, I would think. And also I had great fun doing it. So I'm um, very pleased as of yet. Hopefully you have had as great a time as I've had and I look forward to seeing you fine folks again in the next video. Until then, have the greatest of times and game your little souls away. Bye for now.